All right, hello and welcome to uh, Belial's first LPD. That means let's play drunk, because I've been drinking, and I'm gonna record this. All right, here we go. This is, says the Adventures of the Peanut Butter Avenger. That's because I was hacking Mega Man 3, changing the graphics and shit, based on people from my comic, which none of you have read except for Buppix. Uh, you know, one of the people in the comic is the Peanut Butter Avenger. He's a pretty lame superhero. Anyway, there's Mustard Man, Ketchup Man, Zombie Ninja, uh, Lemon Juice Boy, uh, and the Landlord. We're gonna start with him. Where's my rent, he says. That's funny, right? What the fuck? There you go. I got it working. Alright. Anyway. So anyway, I'm Mega Man, sorta, Peanut Butter Avenger, he looked vaguely like Mega Man, costume design wise, so it was a really, really simple graphics hack. That's actually all I got around to doing so far, was the graphics. I was gonna remake the levels and everything, but I never got around to that. Here's, um, what would be Break Man, or Proto Man, or whatever, ow, fuck. Uh, he's Necroman, which is another character from the comic. Necro stands for necrophilia, which is, uh, you know, kind of gross. Anyway. The comic was a joint idea between me and my friend. We started coming up with, uh, ideas together. And most of them were, like, sexually themed, which I really didn't like. So I, I toned it down a bit when I actually started making the comic because I'm not very artistically inclined, and neither is he. So I decided I'm going to make it using sprites, even though I suck at sprite editing. So they're all shitty Mega Man 7 edits. Anyway, Buffix, watch this, okay? Are you watching? You're still watching, right? I'm drunk right now. And... Okay, you still watching this? Okay, Bob Hicks, seriously. What is so hard about that? You always bitch about the disappearing blocks. That's Once you get the pattern down, you're set, man. Like, seriously, don't you get it? Ugh. Anyway, Mega Man 3. My favorite NES Mega Man. I know the popular choice is uh, Mega Man 2. But, I don't agree, because, you know, I really, actually, I don't, the only way I can really explain it is Mega Man 3 was the first Mega Man that I really got into on the NES. I had this in Mega Man 1 cartridge, and, uh, obviously this is better than Mega Man 1, so this is the one that I fell in love with. Cover art was also a lot better. <laughs> Ow! Fuck you, Phil! Anyway, those are bills that he's shooting at me. I thought, you know, bills would be relative to magnets in the sense that they follow you the fuck around. And... I don't know, who do you guys start with when playing through Mega Man 3? Sometimes I see people start with Top Man, but I've always started with Magnum Man. Oh, damn it. I should not be doing this. Hmm. My plan originally was to um, drink more as the show went on, but I'm out of alcohol, so yeah, I never got around to doing to changing the the large graphic to um, PBA. PBA it stands for Peanut Butter Avenger. I know that you know that, but I'm telling you anyway. And now we're going to catch up, man. You think what? Why would why would you do that? You beat Magnum Man. Next, you should go to Hard Man. Yeah, I know. But, um, Hard Man I've made into Mustard Man. And I don't like mustard. I like ketchup. And I can beat Top Man with uh, just the Buster, so why the hell not? Ow. I'm doing terrible. Holy shit. Don't hit me anymore. I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Alright, 
I'm gonna try not to get hit anymore. I honestly I thought I'd be doing better than this, but one cannot estimate one's own uh, skill while being intoxicated. Ugh. I was uh, planning on doing like a bunch of levels all at once. But, uh, I'm probably gonna have to quit after this one. I actually have a wedding to go to tomorrow. And it's like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm supposed to get up early. Anyway, check this out. Rush is Jelly Roll. Which is, uh, Peanut Butter Avengers fat dog from the comic. That none of you have read. And, uh, it's in the comic section. Seriously. Like, you'll have to go back a page to find it. But it's there. So you've no one to blame but yourself. The graphics are terrible in the comic, to be honest. I mean, just absolutely awful. But, ow. Like I've said, I'm not, ow. I am not, uh, ow. Artistically inclined. They're all very simple edits. Actually, very, quite bad edits. <laughs> but, um, you know. Anyway, I like hacking, uh, NES games. That's... That's as complicated as I can get. I've tried to hack, like, Super Nintendo games like Super Mario World and uh, A Link to the Past. I did change some text around in A Link to the Past one time, but that was as, as far as I got. I never actually did any graphic hacking or anything like that. It's a lot more difficult than it would seem. Even though I had a tool that would completely fucking allow me to do so. Damn it. Not quick enough. I think one of my first ever hacks was actually, I called it Easy Man 3, which sounds kind of like a slutty prostitute, slutty male prostitute, when you say it that way. But, uh, I, I took a, a level editor and took out all the enemies. So you just run through empty levels until you got to the bosses. It was actually pretty ridiculous. I didn't like it. It's probably a good thing it doesn't exist anymore. Seriously, all of my old hacks I don't have anymore. The only one that still exists in any form is this one on my computer. And Super Spartan Brothers, which is a uh, Mega Man... Or, no, Super Mario Brothers hack. Where you play as, like, the Master Chief. And then all the enemies are Halo enemies. Some of you might scoff and be like, Halo sucks. And to that, I just... I raise a middle finger because fuck you guys and your bias. Every game deserves a chance. Anyway, here we go. You got PBJ spin. I know you eat ketchup, man, and you get PBJ spin. I know that's weird. That is the only thing I could think of, for real. Like a spin attack as a peanut butter guy. Like, what else would it be? But PBJ swirled around. Uh, I was gonna stop after two levels, but I guess I'm gonna do three. Mustard Man, here we go. Check this shit out. See that bee? Fuck that bee. I ain't fighting him. See that bee? Nah, I ain't doing that. How about this bee? Nah, we're good. I do, however, still have to jump over these things. Anyway, let's jump off of Jelly Roll. Shoot this guy a few times. I play this game entirely too much. Um, when it comes to ROM hacking, I swear I spend more time test playing than I do actually... Oh shit, what happened? Yeah. I somehow got unclicked and uh, couldn't move for a second. Ah, that was not what I intended to do. Ah, it's, I'm awful. Oh God, stop hitting me. I'm sorry, you had to witness that. Uh, see that monkey? Yeah, fuck that monkey, I ain't fighting him. I hate those things, for real, because they jump up where you can't hit them, and I'm not going to waste my magnets on those guys, I mean, I'm not going to use them against Mustard Man anyway, even though that's his weakness, but, 
Seriously, when I was when I was young, Mega Man 3 was the first Mega Man I really got into. And, um, I didn't understand. See, that's a, that says GIF. It's supposed to be a jar of peanut butter. But in the graphics, it actually just mirrors the top of the graphic to the bottom. That's why it has a lid on top and bottom. Yeah, it's not... Uh, I can't figure that out. Anyway. Back to what I was saying, if I can remember. Ah... Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't understand that the bosses had weaknesses. So, literally, the first time I beat, you know, all eight bosses, I had beaten all eight of them with the buster. You know, some of them I had to use E-Tanks on. And, uh... Like Gemini Man and Needle Man. Needle Man especially. God, I hate Needle Man. There's Necro Man again. He's, uh, being all necro-y. Necroman stands for necrophilia, man. I don't know if I said that. I probably did, and I don't remember. Fucker. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Um. Yeah, he's a zombie, except, uh, zombies' primal instinct is, you know, to feed. And that's why they, they just want to eat everything living. Well, uh, Necrophilia Man, his base instinct was to get laid, so he likes to have sex with dead things. That's the joke behind him, anyway. He's actually just... His entire character is kind of a joke. As so are so many of the characters in the comic. Oh, please. Okay. I'm gonna win. That's right. Oh, no, you don't. That's right. Yeah, you do better if you just let him hit you. It's weird. Okay. Now I'm gonna stop recording this. Because uh, I really should go to sleep. I have a wedding to go to tomorrow. I might have said that already. It doesn't really matter. Anyway. I got Mustard Fist. That's awesome. You guys are going to see that in action next time. Anyway, you guys have a good day.